Hi friends, this is Andy from TechStore and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to basically uh, disassemble the base of the Lenovo IdeaPad 100 uh, India model. Now there are two different uh, IdeaPad 100s. Now this is the IdeaPad 100 and if it looks like this on the top and uh, on the base if it looks like this. The very striking uh, difference is the global model does not have the battery uh, shown like this. It has got an inbuilt battery. Even this is an inbuilt battery but it's created from the inside but it has this kind of a it's a different way to open the uh, base actually and once opened if it looks like this if it looks like this once opened then uh, you can apply this particular procedure uh, to the laptop so you need to have a tool set like this and a prior very important uh, to protrude the entire laptop base and you can have a partition holder for keeping your screws uh, different kinds inside this so let's start things first thing first you need to flip the laptop and uh, keep it like this and you now need to remove all the screws that are visible in front of you Now for people who just want to replace the keyboard, 1, 2, 3, 3 screws are sufficient. We will have to replace the keyboard also actually, we will remove the keyboard for getting access to the base. So we will just flip the laptop back and we will have to remove this keyboard. So just use uh, this kind of a wire and start preparing your keyboard. Take note that uh, there will be some amount of glue sticking in the base, so it might seem a little difficult but uh, it will eventually come out <coughs> so once the keyboard is out just remove this strip connector take a similar keyboard uh, and uh, you can replace the keyboard of the Lenovo IdeaPad 100 now you need to remove the DVD editor here for people who want to add an extra hard drive by using a caddy uh, you just need to open the keyboard and then go to the DVD writer and remove the DVD writer. And the DVD writer gives away. So it's basically a 9.5 mm uh, SATA DVD writer. So if you want to take a hard drive caddy, you can take a 9.5 mm hard drive caddy or a similar DVD writer and just remove this one screw and fit it back inside uh, the laptop. After removing the keyboard, you need to remove this one uh, strip that is this is the cable that is connecting, which is of the battery. Uh, this is specific to uh, India models actually. Uh, Lenovo has made it very confusing actually because in some IDA pair 100 it's not required, and uh, in this model, which is there in India, has uh, this particular battery connector that has to be removed. Alright, so now you need to. Start protruding the base over here. You can see, you can start protruding. The base will very easily give away. And this will be out. So for this particular model as you can see the battery is placed like this very very complicated design I don't understand why uh, Lenovo would do this uh, it's got an inbuilt battery now if you want to replace the battery these two, two screws have to be removed one and uh, the battery can be removed this and take a similar uh, Lenovo battery and you can replace it I don't know why Lenovo had required to do all this uh, arrangement for this particular model I'm very very sad at uh, looking at the way this whole thing is so let us now fit it back here as we are not replacing the battery We did this the way, 
and uh, you get access to the main board here the Wi Fi chip, the processor fan, the hard drive, the RAM. There is only one memory slot that you should know. The Radio Pad 100 has only one memory slot, so the maximum RAM upgradeability is 8GB at the max. So if you get a 16GB DIMM, you can give it a try, but at this point of time, only single uh, DIMM slot it has. So 8GB is right now available in the market, so you can take a 8GB DDR3L low voltage memory. Just use your two thumbs and uh, remove the RAM like this. Right now it has got a 4GB DDR3L low voltage 1280S, 12800S is the rating. So 1600MHz. DDR3 low voltage RAM should be more than sufficient for you to actually upgrade your uh, IdeaPad 100. So, we will take another RAM like this and just upgrade it like this. Just put it back and then very gently push it. So, you can take a 8GB memory and uh, upgrade it. Coming to the hard drive, or if you want to come, maybe remove the hard drive and put the SSD, just remove these four screws. One. Just slit the hard drive on the right, and the hard drive will give away. This is basically a 2.5 slim SATA hard drive that uh, Lenovo incorporates in this particular model. So you can take a SSD, uh, 2.5 mm SSD, and uh, you can upgrade the hard drive to up to uh, 2 terabyte actually. So you can take a similar hard drive and just uh, put it back inside like this. And you have to put the screws back. Right, so this is the very pathetic single speaker, it's got a mono speaker in it, that's another downer for this particular laptop which I've already explained in the review, only one speaker, if you want to just replace the speaker, just take this speaker out, connect it to the motherboard and uh, you can put it back in like this. So people who want to replace the CPU fan, uh, they can just remove these two screws and uh, the heatsink will come out and this one, two, three, two screws for removing the processor fan this is the Wi-Fi chip so one screw over here and you can remove the Wi-Fi chip and replace it if you require so very much it uh, now let's start reassembling the laptop to take the base and uh, again very carefully you need to put this particular uh, small little cable over here inside might be touching the screen actually so be very careful and just press so that the flower bracket arrangement will again fit fine and then open it on the other side just put the cable back here Now we need to put in the DVD writer back, so just need to take the DVD writer and slip it back inside and put in the screw. And then we need to fit the keyboard back, so we need to put in the keyboard connector, as you can see. connector uh, has to be put like this and uh, notch again now put the keyboard like this and uh, start pressing hard on all sides there will be crackling sound all over chill and uh, close it now we need to fit the screws back. Okay, 
All right, friends. So we have shown you uh, how to basically replace the RAM, upgrade the hard drive, and uh, also replace the keyboard and the DVD writer of the Lenovo IdeaPad 100, which is there in India at this point of time because there are two different IdeaPads uh, all across. So globally, it might differ. And we've already shown you how uh, uh, it will look uh, in India and uh, the kind of uh, process required for upgrading uh, this particular new idea pad. Hope you like the video. Do let us know if you have suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. All these components are available on our website techstore.co.in. Thank you so much guys.